Hello and welcome back. So hopefully I haven't lost you yet up to this point because we're going, we seem to be going around in circles creating class after class, but uh, it's worth it in the end when everything works together like this because it will be well organized. So we're almost there here. We just need a um, to import our uh, model here. Okay, we just need to import our model. And what I want to do is have a inside the controller here because normally we're going to be using our models inside the controller anyway. So I want to create a function right here that loads our model so that we can use that instead. Okay, so um, here I will say a function public function. So this is inside the controller, the main controller, right? So public function uh, load model. We can call it that. Uh, it's up to you what you want to call it. So this will load our model and we'll give it the model name here. Uh, we just say call it model like that. Okay, so here we'll say return model. But before that, let's convert this into something useful. So I'm just going to say model. Let's ask the question first. If file exists, uh, in fact, let's just return false if things don't go well. So here I'm, going to, I'm just going to say if fire exists right fire exists so what's the file i'm looking for here dot dot now remember that we're starting from the public folder so private slash um in a uh, in a framework this private folder would be called app so private and slash models slash uh yes up to there I can concatenate and use the, whatever name was given model like that dot concatenate dot php so this is very important to remember here okay great 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 and uh just to make sure that it's capitalized here we're just going to say uc first like that okay Hmm. So if the file exists, we're going to return a new instance of it. So we're going to return model is equal to new uh, new model, something like this. Yeah, but before we do that, we must include the file, obviously. So let's just say require that file okay good so we load the file and then we instantiate it simple and straightforward so let's try this right now so we have our user model that we've created now this model is in is here to interact with the users table so the rule of thumb is that for every table that you create you must create a model for it as well because we will use that particular model to read from that particular table. Okay, that makes things easier a little bit. So this is the user model because it uh, interacts with the user's table. It's a good naming convention to do that. All right, so for now, let's, uh, let's leave this be and instantiate it and try to read from it. So I'm going to go back to my home controller. So instead of what I did here to say DB is go to new database, I won't need to do that anymore. I'm just going to say user, which is my user model, is equal to, and I'll say load model, and then I'll specify the name of the model, which is user, like so. 
I can use small letters or uppercase here, it doesn't matter, it will change it anyway. But here I must use this, like so. Okay, so because it's part of the controller function, so I can use this load model. Okay, it extends that. So user will now be the user class. Now instead of reading from this like so, what I can do is just say uh, if I want to get a very specific thing. Okay, now if I want to use a query the way I've done here, um, if I want to read all, all of them, we can see how we can do that. Let me mute this for a second. So here I'm just going to say data is equal to and do that user and say where like that and then specify. So I want to get a very specific record here. So I want to get this one with John. So say where first name John, just like this. So I can use any of these columns, even ID, that's okay. So but let's try first name John and see if that works. So first name here, just the bracket and then comma, no equal signs here and then another one like this. Okay, so now data is reading through the model, through the database class to get a specific item. So if I now refresh, I get some errors, okay? So it's saying a class database not found inside the model. Okay, so let's go to the model and see what's going on. Where exactly is the problem? This query. Okay. So uncaught error class database not found. Why was it not found? Uh, model PHP on line six. So let's see what's on that line. Okay, so it's this one right here. Extends database. Mm -hmm. So it can't find this uh, item to extend. So the reason uh, this is happening is because if we go to our um, auto load, yes, you see that the database comes last. If the model is here. Uh, the database is there. So we are trying to extend the database or here. So we must move this guy above. Let's just move it right after the config there, like so. So the order here is important because depending on what is extending what, uh, the order must be respected here. So let's save that and see if we can get away with it now. Okay, so this time uh, things did work out, but we don't have a result. So let's come back to our, um, uh, where is this, controller. Oops, not that one, the uh, home controller. Okay, where first name, John. So this is not working well here. What we can do is go to the main model which is this one, and see what kind of query we are creating here. So I'm just going to come here and uh, echo the query. So just say echo query right there. Okay, and let's refresh that. So select all from users where column is equal to value. So maybe it seems the um, the column part here does not allow uh, each to be part of a prepared statement. So let's put the actual column there like so, and let's remove it from here. So let's see if that works out, refresh, and we have our record there. So apparently we can't use column uh, here. So the only way to be safe here to make sure that somebody cannot uh, manipulate this to manipulate our query, we'll have to check to see if this column actually exists before we try to add it in our query. Because if it doesn't exist, then we don't add it there at all. Otherwise, this will be a vulnerability on our end. Another way we can do things is we can just sanitize it. We just say this is equal to add slashes like this. 
that's what I use and do that that way whatever we add here is sanitized there but the other option of checking to see if a column exists before adding this there is a better option so we're going to add a function that does just that to check if a column exists and then we add it there but otherwise for now this is working so let's come back here and add one more uh, to the model here one more function and this function is going to be easier we're going to duplicate this so public where and then we're just going to say find all like that okay so find all and then here we'll say uh it's find all so we don't need to add anything in there it's just find all and then uh we don't need a column because we're finding everything we do need the table and we're just going to do that like so okay remove the echo query remove that there as well we don't need that here we just need the query because there are no variables here okay good so return that so if i now this is the main model remember that the user model which we are using is totally empty waiting for you to add extra functionality depending on uh, the model itself or the type of a table so the things we add to the main model here you see are those functions that should be common to every model so whatever function that you think every single model should have you must put it here in the main model and then each model by itself can create its own unique functions so that it can do unique things depending on the table that it is reading from so this is why we structured it this way hopefully that is clear so let's try this find all feature now if we go back to our home controller and right here instead of instead of what we did with this where we had to type an actual query let me put this one out we can just say find all like so and we don't use db we use the user model like that so back here if i now refresh you see that i've gotten all the records like this okay so hopefully uh, that is understood what is going on here so now that we have this new superpower of reading from the database we can begin to populate things we can begin to do the sign up login etc etc and finish up with our system i'll see you in the next video